Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, Dad Radio. Um, we do the Record Club. It's classics. So uh, the four of us, you know, picked four albums each or one album each, and then we all listened to it. And uh, now we're gonna talk about them. Um, here we go. All right, fine. All right. Well, actually, I got the record of mine. I'm doing Caribou by Elton John. Um, look at that guy. Look at that freaking awesome Jackie. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, I recently have just been getting like super duper into this album. I think it's my favorite Elton John album. Um, I think it's, uh, overlooked for sure. Um, I just think it's got banger after banger on it. Um, I always knew bitches back. It's just the opener. It's just a, what a way to open up an album just with that super high energy song. Um, but yeah, I think it just, it goes through so many changes and, um, twists and turns and each song brings its own thing to it. Um, you got, you know, kind of glam rocky stuff on it, like, you know, Grimsby, um, you're so static, kind of that bluesy thing going on. Um, stinker and then you got like kind of more country-esque stuff like dixie lily which i think is a freaking banger like what a cool song that's definitely one of my favorite songs on here and then it ends with some amazing um kind of classic elton john ballads like don't let the sun go down on me and ticking um yeah and i just think the playing on this album is just top notch like um yeah i don't know i it, it it shocks me every time I hear it. Um, I've been listening to it all the time. So, love to hear what you guys think. Wow. Um, you know, it shocks me too, Matt, every time I hear it. No, I'm kidding. I don't shock. I think shock is a great word. No. Um, <laughs> this, no, this album is, is awesome. I listened to it. Listened to it last night while playing a board game. And it was, it was a good album for that. Um, super strong start with Bitches Back. You know, that's one of his one of his classics, Elton. Um, yeah, just a really fun glam rock, kind of classic rock feel. Um little little album here. I don't listen to a lot of Elton John other than that his big album. What's his like big album that all those big songs are on? Uh, <laughs> Yellow uh, Brick Road. Yellow Brick Road. Yeah. That's really the only album I've listened to front to back from Elton John. So this is a fun listen. It is uh-huh. um I have a few questions. So I listened to this album on Spotify, and there's like 14 songs on it. How many songs are on the record here? Because some of them uh, kind of felt like bonus track territory. Yeah, some of them are. Uh, once it, ticking is the last song, and then okay. Pinball Wizard to the Christmas song are just uh, bonus tracks. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Ticking, ticking definitely felt like the natural conclusion of the album. So I was a little confused. But and then Pinball Wizard was awesome. That was like a huge yeah, surprise. A- I thought the album was over, and then like Pinball Wizard started playing. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, was like, you never know when albums end, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's good to clarify. And then there's like a Christmas song at the end that um is a bop too. Um, yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, I don't know that one actually, but yeah, Step into Christmas. It's got like the most. Like some of the most streams on his Spotify. It has like two hundred and eighty eight million plays. Maybe it's a big Christmas song in the in the UK or something. People love their Christmas music, so <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I've definitely heard it before here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure like it is. Yeah. Yeah. I I have heard it before too. I, I heard it and I was like, okay, this is familiar. Mm. Yeah, the Christmas bump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, sorry. Um yeah. Great album. Um, yeah, go ahead go ahead okay um I was surprised too when I first heard it um uh, Matt first played it for me a while ago because I didn't know that Elton John could sound like that like I always thought he was kind of I don't know I I kind of had more of like the Elton John today picture of him in my mind um like him playing at the Grammys and stuff like that uh yeah like that's how I knew Elton John but I really like this album and the just listening to it on the record too um, is just a whole other experience. It's like a perfect album to just throw the record on. Um, And yeah, let's see some of my favorites. 
obviously bitch is back um i really like dixie lily too that one's great i think those are my two favorites on it same <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah it's kind of funny like it felt like you know reading uh reviews and stuff like people kind of um weren't super thrilled with this album when it first came out but really i think it kind of it's so high energy i don't know how you couldn't be yeah um yeah and i guess the song ticking is about um someone suffering from a repressed childhood who kills 14 people in a mass shooting in a bar <laughs> in new york city oh wow <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. okay you got some right. you got some, some dark so sub subject matter <laughs> too, you know it's not all fun and games <laughs> um my mom had this album in her car growing up it was the 1995 remaster cd uh so i listened to, i've listened to this album a lot and i agree this is my favorite elton john album um we, if I were, if anyone were to ever ask me, like, hey, where do I start with Elton John? I would tell him this one, because um, it's it's just really fun. It's really high energy. It doesn't have like the the big hits like Candle in the Wind or you know Crocodile Rock, but it the bitches back is probably my favorite song by him. Um, we weren't allowed to say the name uh, in the car. Uh, we would just you know have to ask for the Elton John is back song. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I think this is him at his best. I think, you know, this is at least eight albums in four years. <laughs> and this is his eighth, which is which is wild. Um, but I think this is him like really hitting his mark. Um I really love Solar Prestige A Gammon. Oh yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> uh. uh it's it's just the most Elton John thing you can do. Um, he was tired of people interpreting his lyrics in a way that they weren't meant to be interpreted. So he was just like, I'm going to write a song that has no meaning. We're going to make up a bunch of gibberish and write a song about it. And it's a really good song. Oh, it's not a language. I don't even know. No, no, it's completely gibberish. <laughs> That's um, and I had like the extended version with the five extra tracks growing up and this has been my favorite version of pinball wizard i like it more than the who version i think that's fair <laughs> he he adds a lot of like theatrical flamboyancy to the song which i think makes it a lot better yeah i know he does a i think that there's like a pinball wizard movie or something yeah he's in it yeah and he plays yeah and he plays uh with the with the who Mm -hmm. that song too and that i just know the video on youtube is pretty awesome so yeah <laughs> if you ever have a chance to see that it's pretty sweet um it's very movie like so it's you know it's not less of a performance of a more of a movie performance mm -hmm. yes um have you, have yeah. you seen tommy they, never mind we're not talking we're not talking <laughs> about this <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah i know you, you want to go off into that direction that I, I haven't but i'd love to anyway we should do a, we should do a rock opera episode yeah, yeah. sick. <laughs> I'll do. Rock I call. Rock. I'm gonna do American Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. So I think um, I love this album. I think it's literally a perfect album. Um, you know, I guess I've been kind of going through an Elton John phase just because I haven't really done that before. You know, we all go through it. Um, but yeah, I I think this one just like shocked me that it's so good front to back. And I don't think all uh, Elton John's albums are. I think perfect front to back and this one is so i had to give it a 10 you know there you go perfect thanks for watching that video if you want to watch more of us talk about music check us out we got a lot of awesome videos for you to listen to and like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and uh let us know what you thought of this video down in the comments below we're always chatting with people who uh, have an opinion, and we love it. So, see ya.